everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm so happy to have you. If you're new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Lizzie and I have a husband named Matt who is a boat mechanic and he edits my videos and sometimes puts cute little funny comments in. I have two teenage children, a son Max who is 17 and a half and I have a daughter whose name is Addison or Addie and she helps me out in the Etsy shop. So welcome to our family and I hope you enjoy this video. I am filming this on Monday and it's not going out until not this Wednesday but a week later Wednesday. It's not going out until March 20th. I am having surgery on my C-spine that, that day or on my neck. In case anyone's interested in the name of the procedure, it's on the right side. It's a right C56 laminoforaminotomy with discectomy. So I don't know what any of that means, but there you go, that's what it is. So that is why I am recording these videos way in advance. I'm only able to do this because I get paid once a month and I get paid on the 4th and I use that money for the month ahead. So not to pay the bills that were just due the previous month. So I'm so thankful I was able to take out money for these videos early and get these videos filmed for you guys. So hopefully by the time these videos go out, I will be, I will be cooped up for a long time, but hopefully I'll at least be able to use my hand and type in comments on my phone to um, write back to you guys. So that is the plan. We are gonna start, I guess we should start with counting the money because we can't do much until we count the money. So I just have a C buck back here. I'll just put that down and let me get out my pouch from Nita, my friend Nita over at the Almost Organized Owl. And let's go ahead and count. We should have $250. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 170, 180, 190, 200, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, so 135, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 150, 250, sorry about that, 250, so we are going to be stuffing $250 today, and before I do that, let me just show you something that I got in, in the mail. I'm just going to put this aside. I did get some true crime challenges that were gifted to me actually a while back, and I thought I would pull them out now. I received two challenges from Pedigo, Pedigo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I just call it Pedigo Budgets. But if you happen to be watching, Kesley, please tell me how you pronounce your channel's name. And in her shop, she, I don't believe she sells things with scratch off stickers. So you just, there the numbers are all showing and you can just cross them off or whatever. But I went ahead and she emailed, I believe she emailed these to me. So I printed them, I laminated them, and I put my own stickers on. So. I thought these little tiny stickers looked cute. And so here are two challenges that she gifted to me. And I, we're not starting these today. We'll start these when we start the second binder. But I just wanted to show you that because that was so sweet of her to send them to me. So just know that when you go to her shop, um, I believe they still do not come with scratch off stickers. So, but you can, you can do it without them. You can just cross them off and then use a permanent marker. And then when you're done, you can get the permanent marker off and keep reusing it. So thank you so much to Kesley and her champ, her shop will be linked in the description box. And then I received also by email, these two challenges. One of them is a true crime one and one of them is a puppy one. This is from Jasmine and her, she has a YouTube channel and a shop with the same exact name. MS Mom Budgets. So Jasmine sent these to me and I also just wanted to let you know she e she emailed these to me so I put them together myself. In her shop she does put scratch off stickers on but I believe hers are the same size on this one but they're I'm pretty sure they're the holographic silver. 
I don't have any holographic stickers and I had red and I thought the red would look awesome. So just know this is not how it came from her shop. So I just wanted to give you a disclaimer so no one's disappointed if they order it and it doesn't come with red scratch off stickers. And with the puppy, same thing. I just use tiny gold stickers. So mine are going to look different than the ones in her shop. But thank you so much to Jasmine for sending these to me. And I will be also doing both of these um, when the time permits. So they, they will be part of my dog and my true crime series before those are over. So thank you so much. You guys are so sweet to think of me and send me stuff. Let's go ahead and take care of Bobby's challenge because sometimes I forget if we don't do it. So I got this really cool evidence bag from Amazon and this is about the time I throw the decorations away because I just had those from last year. I didn't buy them this year, but I thought I would use them. But we are going to be doing this challenge and we're just gonna take out the next card, on, the card on top and you know what, I'm gonna grab any envelope. It doesn't have to be the envelope on top. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the card, but it is the untouchables. And there is a 23 on there. So we're gonna put $23 in this envelope today. So that's a big number. I'm not sure if I had 25 cards or 30. It's however many envelopes came with the set. I used that many true crime trading cards. So I think it was probably 25. So we're gonna put 23 in this envelope and then as usual, I will staple it. And here is my stapler. I'll also let you guys know that we should have enough money at the end of this video to start a new challenge. So that will be really fun. We get a chance to do that. So I'm gonna throw both of these in the bag and off it goes to my safe. So, now let's go ahead. I showed you the Happy Mail. We did the evidence bag. Let me go ahead now and let's go into the binder. We actually might start two new challenges today and neither of them are true crime. So stick around to see what we end up doing. So this is still my first true crime binder. We are almost done with it. And sorry, I have to, the doctor told me I'm dehydrated and I need to drink more. So since I've been filming, up to three to four videos a day I need to keep drinking because because I'm always talking so I did this binder I believe I did it no I did do it on camera last week okay so you guys know we're working on this Easter set from rocks over at rocks budgets she's in Romania and she has the nicest stuff in her shop. I believe it was all free shipping, which means she's probably losing money like Madeline just to have a shop. So she is so sweet. And there are these beautiful Easter card sets. And so we are just doing them at the beginning of each true crime video every Wednesday. So I'll just grab the first two on top and then I can put these back in the adorable little pouch, which I'm gonna save. So cute. So we'll get those back in there and this is the envelope I had made and it just has some Easter stickers on it and some sloths that are very cute and it looks springy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get my scratcher out and we will see what these numbers are. So we have a two. Okay. That is super easy to do. I'm not even sure the amounts, but I know they're all really low income. So got number two and then we'll see what this one is we got another number two awesome while I'm scratching I just had a random thought that I would want to share with you guys I always want to say it in a video but I never remember it's very random but when you guys order something from my shop I always always give two tiny little scratch offs the little cards they're half the size and they each have one scratch on them and so I include one or two in every order. Normally all the orders have two in them, but if I'm running out and I have to get out the door, I'd rather put just one card in there and get your package out a day sooner than wait until the next day because I had to go through the process of making more. So anyway, what I wanted to tell you is those little cards you get for me in your order, they're numbers one through five. So no number is higher than five. I just thought I would let you know. Okay, so. We have two and two, which is four. So let's see if we have a one in here. We do. 
So I'm going to put this one back and I'll take a five and I'll put the two fives back and put a 10 in here. Okay. And let's do the two tens and take a 20. So we'll start off with some change over here so we won't run out. Okay. So that is awesome. These little amounts will add up. And then the next one is from Willow Tree Budgets and it is my Seabuck challenge. So I'm saving C dollars. There's a C on $1 bills and or there are there's a letter on $1 bills and I'm saving the C for crime. So I just had one this week and I'll put it in there and then let me get this awesome tracker. You'll see when I do this, I'm using a lot of red and yellow, you know, like the caution or crime scene. And I'm using a lot of red and yellow for this series because it's appropriate or applicable, whatever you want to say. So last week I didn't have any, but Sweet Peggy, you can see the peas there. Sweet Peggy over at Saving with Peggy sent me a beautiful card, some challenge savings challenges she made just for me that I was looking for, but couldn't find on Etsy. And I believe it was seven C bucks. So that was such a blessing and so sweet of Peggy. So we might just finish this tracker before the end of the series. We'll see. So let's move right along. And what is next? Let's see. We don't have that many challenges left. So actually, I totally forgot, but I put a new challenge in here as well. So this is just going to be a fun video with new stuff. So you can see here, this challenge was also a gift to me. It was sent in the mail by my friend Dawn, and she has a daughter. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but her adult daughter has a YouTube channel called Liz Budgets. And then Dawn's Etsy shop is the craft bin. So they're both linked together in the description box. So we're going to, I had forgotten she sent me this challenge and she reminded me, I'm so glad. And it's called something's afoot. And I thought we could make it work for this unit. Look at the little um, magnifying glass and stuff. It just, it's so cute and it is perfect for the true crime. So there's a key up at the top. And so depending on which icon you scratch, then you will know what, how much money you owe. I'm going to scratch, I think three, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and scratched three and Dawn laminated this and oh my goodness, it was so easy to scratch, didn't hurt my hand at all. And we uncovered three different things. So the magnifying glass is $5. So we owe five plus five is 10 and the pipe is three. So we owe $13 to get this challenge started today. So again, Dawn's shop is called the Craft Bin with a K. And I believe this is the first scratch off I've done from her and I love it. So thank you again, Dawn. So I'm going to put this away and then we're going to move on to Serial Killer that was sent to me. It was a gift from Lindsay over at Boy Mom Loves to Save and you can find the challenge in her shop. So let's see what we're going to scratch off today. So I'll do at least two. And again, I'll go ahead and I'll take my time scratching these therapeutically and then Matt can just fast forward all at once. So let me scratch either two or three and I'll be right back. I decided just to scratch two because I love this so much and don't want it ever to end. So we got the nine and the eight. So I believe that's 17. So 10, 15, 16, and 17. So you'll be seeing this on a Wednesday if you see it the day it comes out. And so I hope that everyone is having a good week. And if you're not, well, the week is sort of halfway through, so I hope it gets better. And I think about you guys all the time. So let's go ahead and we'll put this one away. I love it so much. Okay. So then we only have one more in this binder and we have a lot of money. So we'll definitely be able to play um, the game or the book busted. So that will be fun. So this last one is from Lemon Ivy. I love it so much. 
And let me see, get my scratcher tool out. This one is for $75, so the number shouldn't be too, too big, but let me see. I don't know, because I have other stuff I wanna do in this video, so I don't know how much I wanna spend on this challenge, but let me just do a few. I'll do them with you guys, because they're nice and quick. Hope you don't mind if I do them sideways. Okay, so we have seven and five. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And if I'm not on camera, I can do that without using my fingers. <laughs> So 12 plus eight, and that is 20. You know what, let's stop there for now. It's a perfect 20. Let's stop there. And so we just started this challenge today. So it has its first 20 and that's a good amount. I already did the two other challenges from Lemon Ivy, the top secret file folder and the police car. So that was a lot of fun. And I hate cats, but there's a cat in there for those cat lovers out there. <laughs> okay, so let me put this aside. We might come back to it. I really don't know. You guys like it when I don't plan ahead. So, and I just do it with you guys. Excuse me. So let's get out our busted book and see, there's the book. And I made this envelope and that is who we owe credit to for budgeting by Dina U.S., Mlosh Designs and their friend Mandy. So this is linked in my in the description box. They're both linked. Their channels and their shops are linked. And under Mlosh Designs, under Marion's um, Etsy shop, under that I have the direct link to this book. So and it comes with everything you need. It came with a bunch of little things, the die, dice that you need, everything. So it comes all ready to play. So we actually finished. The first two challenges last week and they do come with envelopes and everything like that but we finished so these two are done we're gonna start two new ones today and let me just tell you guys something we're only gonna be doing two at a time but these are the last or the next two challenges after the two we're doing today I don't know how to play this so it's um, let's see Deal yourself a hand of Pyramid Solitaire. I don't know what Pyramid Solitaire is. So if any of you have this book or Marion, Dina, if any of you are watching or any of my friends on YouTube and you know how to play this, please get a hold of me because I need help for when we get there. I don't wanna have to skip it. I could always just roll a die and actually maybe that's what I can do, but I'd prefer to play it the right way. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are because this is a new game, I'm gonna kind of give the directions a little bit. And it says we need a six-sided color dice and marker. Do we really need the color? So let, let's look at this. It says, in order to figure out what the crime was, we need to follow the leads in news articles. Create a value for each newspaper below. So for each color, I put a value. It says, roll a six-sided colored dice and cross off the first newspaper of that color. On the next roll, cross off the appropriate colored paper after the paper you just crossed off. You can't go back, always keep moving forward. Save the amount that coordinates with the color of the newspaper you land on. Okay, so that's the first part and that's all we need to know for today. So I'm not sure why it says we need a colored die, but let me get my, hold on a sec. Let me grab the dice. Okay, my dice, little sloth dice bag is right here. I think you basically just need see the amount that coordinates with the um, roll a six sided colored dice and cross off the first newspaper of that color. OK, so they just want you to roll the one that they they sent this in with the. Um, yes, this is the one they sent with the game. So this makes sense. I thought they I thought it meant with the numbers on it, but now this makes sense. So I'm gonna pull out my dice tower because that is the quickest way for me to play this. And let's go ahead and do some damage here. So we're, we, there's start. Okay, so we're gonna go to blue and I'm gonna cross it off. So let me get a calculator. We can keep track of this. So blue, I said was five. So we owe five and then I'm just gonna keep adding on the calculator. Actually, you guys can't see that. Um, I'll put it under, so I think you can see it right there. Okay, so five plus, and now I'm gonna roll this a few more times. 
So we, it says always go forward and it has nice arrows to show you where to go. So now we're at this yellow and yellow is $3. So I'm gonna add plus three on the calculator. Then we got a red, so red, oops. Red is, let's see, one. And okay, let's keep going. Green, I'm just getting all the colors here, you guys. Getting a mixture. Okay, so green is four dollars. I want to get around the board at least once. And now red. Okay. So this is the red and red is one dollar. So plus one on the calculator. Green. So we have to go this way and green is four. So plus four. Purple. So that one's right here. Purple is, wow, it's six. Okay orange orange is two and again if I'm not playing this correctly someone please let me know red so down to here and red is one blue so we have to go this way and blue is five dollars and orange, orange is two, and purple. Okay, so this I believe is this dead end right here. So that's actually a good place to stop. So that's six. So we owe exactly $40, wow, okay. So we ended there, but let me still get a little arrow sticker. Okay, I have one right here. So I will put the arrow there that we landed there. And now I'm gonna take $40, so 20, 30, and 40, and I'm gonna shove it in the envelope. You can see I had to condense it. I'll actually take this out. The envelope was getting way too thick, so I had to get some smaller bills in there. So anyway, put that in there, and then we're gonna go ahead to the next page. So the next page says, date of incident, tools used for investigation, scratching tools. So we got our scratching tool. Holidays can bring out the best and worst of, us. worst of us. Write your value of each holiday on the appropriate lines below, then scratch random stickers until all holiday options have been uncovered. Okay, so they all need to be on all the options. So once we have to have each of these rolled at least once, and then you're done. Count the number of like icons, and you can put the tallies here. The highest quantity determines the date of the incident being investigated. All right, well, that seems pretty straightforward to me. So we just have to do some scratching, and to save everyone time, I'm not gonna roll a dice or anything. I'm just gonna start scratching randomly, and I'll do it, let's see, if these are easy to scratch, I'll scratch, yeah, super easy to scratch. So I'll scratch them with you guys, so. Oh, I forgot I need to be telling money as well. Okay, so Halloween is first. Let me do the same thing you could, where you can see the calculator down here. Okay, so trick or treat is $2. This is fun. Okay, and I'll just go here. Valentine's Day. Oh, I have never seen a scratch so easy to get every little speck off. That is so rewarding, so satisfying. Okay, so Valentine's Day is one. And we'll just go a little bit. Oh, look at that. Now we got the 4th of July. Okay, so, man, we might get this page done really quickly if we just have to uncover one of each. 4th of July, isn't that it? No, 4th of, okay, good, phew. I almost did the wrong one. 4th of July is six. So we're at $9 and I need to get these off. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so. We're only at $9, so we'll keep going. Let's go right here. And we got Halloween again. Let me see if my vacuum will work today. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, it actually worked pretty well. Okay, so that's another $2. Okay, and then right here. Okay, we got 4th of July again. 
Okay, you guys, I have to show you something. Before I forget, my daughter drew a photo of me. She sat across the table from me, and I, I didn't at first know what she was doing, but she says she's not good at drawing faces, so she just drew a picture of, oh, no, I ugh, cleared the calculator. I think it was a nine. Okay, so two plus two is four. Four plus one is five. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. Okay, so it should have said 17, I believe. Anyway, she drew a picture of me, and I was working. I had my baby laminator, and I was I call it little chompy, and I say I'm chomping. And she drew a picture of me, of my arm and my hand and the laminator and what I was, someone's order I was working on. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of that right here so you guys can see her talent. So... I thought she did an awesome job and I thought she was going to give it to me, but she hung it up in her room. She has a wall above her desk where she puts her best artwork that she loves. But I think she did a fantastic job. Okay, so let's do a couple more. Let's do two more. I don't want to do all of these today. So trick or treat. So we need to add two and let's do this one right here. Okay, this one is New Year's. Okay, so New Year's is four. Okay, so I'm going to have Matt speed this up, but I am just going to double check that I'm adding the right amount. Hey, you guys, I don't know what happened. Um, and I, I'm sure Matt cut a bunch of this out, but I, every time I counted, I got a different number. I got 19, I got 26, 21, 25, 23, 24. I was going nuts. So I heard the kids coming down the stairs. So I grabbed them and asked them to do this for me. So Addie just counted and she got 23 and that's the last number I got. So we're gonna go with 23. I have no idea how I kept messing up and how I kept getting different numbers. It like seriously boggles in my mind. I have no clue. So anyway, we're gonna stop there, $23 for today. So those were fun new challenges and I'm gonna add the money in and then we're running out of ones. So I just need to try to get some ones back over in my tray. So, all right, so I hope, I hope we have five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So perfect. And I'll take out a five here. And then we will move along. So you're probably wondering what we're doing with the rest of this money. And we're going to do a few different things. We are going to finish this charge up challenge. So I'm excited about this. We only need six let's see one two three four five six dollars to finish this so I'm really happy about that so I'll have Matt speed this up while I color these in so we are all charged up and I'm so grateful for my nephew Ethan who made this it comes in a6 as well it comes with the envelope in my shop when my when my shop reopens and he gets a cut every time one is purchased so we owe $6, so let's do that first. Let's make sure, I've been trying to do shorter videos since Matt is editing them, editing several every day, but we just have a lot going on in this video. So this one's just gonna have to be a little longer. So we have 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Awesome. So $100. I am so excited. Oh, you guys. And I was able, I know I kept losing it because it wasn't in a binder, but I wanted to be able to use it at the end of every video and not just have it in one binder. So we saved $100. I'm so excited. So we get to put this in with our finished challenges and let's move right along. We have some money left and we are going to start a new challenge. I am so excited. So I saw this 
and I had to have it immediately. Like I had to go ahead and buy it. Let me see what's straight for you guys. Okay, so that's pretty straight. Okay, so this is from Lisa Grateful Me over at the Happy Mailbox Co. And this brought back a lot of memories for me when I see these kind of ducks. It's very sentimental for me. Oh, I wonder what this means. I didn't read the directions. I didn't see those little ducks there. All right, we'll have to find out what that means. Maybe it's some type of bonus. But anyway, these ducks are so sentimental to me because when I was growing up, we would always go to my grandparents and my mom's parents, when we'd go to their house, they had a porch. It was glassed and screened in, but it was a porch overlooking the backyard. And right when you walk, step down into the porch, there's a couch across and on top of the couch is a wooden, you know, a wooden windowsill that goes the whole length of the couch or longer. And they had little wooden ducks that looked just like that. They had three or four. And so it's just a memory that I have as a kid. It just brings back such sweet memories. You know, they are both gone now, but whenever I see ducks like this, it just makes me smile and think of spending time with them and things like that. So I had to get this challenge and I love dice challenges. So I was like, this is going to be a dice challenge for me. And then I was thinking, well, if we, it came with an envelope, you can print it and make it. I make leases a little differently. I, it comes with like flaps and stuff so you can tape or glue it. I prefer to laminate it and just make it a regular envelope. However, I realized that this is going to break in two seconds because there's so much money that needs to go in and I don't want to keep having to condense it. I had a great idea. So I didn't buy anything. I had this. So now let me show you this. I have this pouch. You can see it's brand new, tag still on, make way for ducklings. So we grew up near the Boston area and we used to go, sometimes we would go with my mom's aunt, my great auntie Anne, and we would go for a ride on the swan boats. And so anyway, this the book Make Way for Ducklings is very special to me and sentimental to me as well. And I got, got it when Matt and I went on our honeymoon. I believe that's when I got it. We were in Maine. And so that makes it super special too. So I thought, this is great. We can use this, you know, rugged pouch to collect the money for this challenge in. And then we won't have to keep condensing because this should be able to hold quite a bit. So let me see. I don't see scissors handy. Let me see if I can get the tag off. So this is what we're going to do. Since I know it's going to take a long time to roll all these and it's quite a bit of money, I thought at the end of every video when I have some leftover money that's more than just a couple dollars, we can tackle this. So if we do one roll for every video, then someday we will finish it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start this today and I am so excited. So let's begin 14. Also, I thought, okay, nope, never mind. I didn't think that's for something else. Um, I haven't decided what colors I wanna color these in, if I wanna do it by row. I don't really know. I think I'll just do each block a different color because I want to keep it simple. So let me actually, let me grab a specific color and I'll be right back. Okay, I am sorry that took so long. I decided to go ahead and find markers that matched with numbers on them so I don't have to find them every time. I'll just, I can write down the number and look at it. So anyway, I'm going to do this green color for this top box and then I'm going to do a yellowish a goldenrod to match the beak for that one and then a tealish color to match this so that's what we're going to do so I believe I already rolled and I rolled a 14 so it's in this middle quadrant so I'm going to go ahead and I'll you know me I'll probably just color them in order but let me color this 14 nicely and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll again. And we'll, actually, no, let's take the money out. So 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I need to make sure that we don't go over. So we definitely can roll again, though. So let me go ahead and do that. And we got a 15. So we're doing big numbers today, I guess. So let's see. So I'll go ahead and, again, do this top one right here. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, so let's take 
10 and 15 out and it looks like we can roll one more time. Let's go for the first box. <laughs> Yay, four. All right, so it listened to me, I guess. And number four. These are not looking like they did on the paper I tried them out on, but you know what? It's okay. They'll still work. Okay, see this one looked more blue and then that one looked more bright green and now I think these look terrible, but I'm not gonna change it, we'll just go with it. So let me put back, let's see, so we owe four, so I'm gonna give it, put one here and take a five. And I think it looks like we can roll one more time. Let's go ahead. Seven. Okay, so this one. Okay, so let's take the seven out. Five, six, seven. Let's see, ten. Oh my gosh, I didn't see all that. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have a few more rolls. Matt, I'm sorry, this is gonna be a long movie. I'm sorry. 13, okay, so 13 is this one. Okay, so now we'll get out $13. So 10, 11, 12, 13. I know I'm gonna need to make change. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll put that back and take a five. Let's go and roll again. And that is a six. By the way, I don't think I normally mention this, but this die is from Fennec and Finch on Etsy. That's where just about all my dice are from. And it's always in the description box as well. All right, so six dollars, a five and a one. Let's roll again. 20. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's find the smaller end. So 20 is right here. If you know why there's a duck there, let me know if there's special rules or something. I hope I didn't already go ahead and mess this up, but <laughs> I hope we have $20 over there. I'm not sure. Oops. <laughs> okay. So 5, 10, 15, and 20. Oh my gosh. All right, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I can go again. So this will be the last roll, okay? 18. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right, so let me color that in and I'll be right back. Okay, so that will end this challenge for today. I think it looks awesome. I'm so excited. And let's take two back and double check that this is 15. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I meant to double check if it was 18. So actually, I'm not even going to sort the money. Let's just not even sort it. Let me throw it in my new pouch. I am so excited, you guys. This just makes me smile. And... Lastly, we have $2 left. We are gonna start another new challenge. So since the charge up one is finished, I'm gonna use this envelope and I'm just gonna have this one hang around my desk like I normally do for in case we have leftover money at the end of the video. So we are going to use this beautiful challenge from Jessie Budgets. I will have her linked in the description box. I know Nita is doing one from her. I know this is a long video and I know we're at the end, but I, I have to tell you guys that when she went ahead and made this for me, she said, oh, let me look at your channel colors and let me try to make this border match them better. She tried all different versions, all different colors. She kept sending me, do you like this one better? Is this a better match? She, and this didn't, I didn't pay a thing for her to do that. I think she even gifted it to me. She is so, so sweet and was just so excited to help me out. So go give her shop some love. I decided I would use my channel colors for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I believe for when I made the blocks that Busy, the first for Busy Lizzie's budget, Busy was in pink. So we're gonna use the pink, let's use the pink for the B. We have $2 left, so I just get to color in 
a two and that's fine because I want this to last a while. I want it to be like the catch all um, at the end of every video. And also I was waiting to use this challenge for something special and I love it so much Look how she made the sloth for me. I love it so much that this way I can bring it out at the end of every single video and I can keep seeing it. So that just makes me smile. So I will write down these numbers as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. Oh, I had a sea buck and I didn't even know it. Wow, okay. You guys are amazing. If you made it to the end of this video, put a duck emoji in the, the comment box and I'll know you stay to the end. Thank you so, so much for being here and just giving me the support and for just, just being so awesome. I love you all. I hope that you have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.